let's say you wake up, dress up, go outside, and some stranger come up to you and ask you what what is the integral of cosine of x dx. And from your knowledge of calculus that you learned with me, you say right uh, right away, you shout out sine of x plus c. And why is it sine of x? Because what is this asking you? This thing is asking you what do we have to differentiate? What do we have to differentiate? Differentiate to get whatever is inside. To get cosine of x is the question it is asking. And you know derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So the answer to this question is sine of x plus some constant because derivative of constant comes out to be zero. Now, let's say another stranger comes up to you and this stranger is smiling because he thinks you, you're not going to be able to answer this one. And this time it's cosine of 2x dx. And you say, okay, if it's cosine of x, it comes out to be sine of x. So is it not logical? The answer is sine of 2x plus c. And this stranger is going to smile and take away some of your money because it is not. It is not sine of 2x. And how come it is not? Let's consider this. What is this question? Once again, this thing is asking you, what do we have to differentiate to get cosine of 2x? So you want to find function. You want to find some function that if you differentiate, you get cosine of 2x. And let's see if sine of 2x plus c is the case. Let's try differentiating sine of 2x. Let's, you got to use chain rule. This thing is going to come out to be cosine of 2x when you differentiate with respect to 2x, when you consider 2x to be x, you get cosine of that. And you have to multiply by chain rule the derivative of what you just assumed to be your differentiating respect to. So you have to multiply by derivative of 2x, which is 2. So derivative of sine of 2x plus c is 2 times cosine of 2x, which is not which is not cosine of 2x, so the answer you assumed was actually incorrect. But let's say, let's say the question was, what is the integral of 2 times cosine of 2x dx? What do we have to differentiate to get 2 cosine 2x? And we just figured that out. You have to differentiate sine of 2x in order to get 2 times cosine of 2x. So in this case, the answer is going to be sine of 2x. Okay, have we figured out something? Where you, you had cosine of some function, let's call this u, let's call 2x to be u, and you had derivative of u outside, and what did we do? When you had cosine of u and you had u prime dx, you could ignore this u prime, you could treat it as being going away, and integrate as you would by instinct. You're going to say, let's let 2x, let's treat 2x to be x, let's say, let's say 2x is some u, some, some x, and cosine of something comes out to be sine of that something, so you can integrate as you normally would. Once you have u prime, you, once again, once you have u prime, you can ignore it, think of it as been going away, and integrate at treating 2x to be our normal x. So now let's consider integral of 2x times, times, let's say, sine of x squared dx. In this case, what is our u? Let's, let's look at this example too. Our u is x squared in this case, something you're taking sine of. And what is our u prime? u prime is 2x. So we have all of our ingredients. We have u prime multiplied by sine of u. So what can we do? We can think of this u prime as going away and think of this as being sine of something. So you can think of u prime as going away. So what and what do we get when we integrate sine of something? You get negative cosine of something, which is x squared plus c. And you may say, is this really right? And we can check it. Uh, negative cosine of x squared. Let's try to let's try to differentiate this. When you differentiate cosine of x squared, you get negative sine of x squared, and you have to multiply by 2x. So what comes out is 2x times sine of x squared, which is the case. So what have we learned? When we have integral of some function of u, the, this function can be cosine, this function can be sine, this function can be raising u to the second power, and you have u prime times du, you can think of this u prime as being going away, and you can integrate as, uh, not du, dx, 
my bad. And you can think of this U prime as being going away. And you can integrate as you normally would. You can think of U as being our new X, new something. And you can integrate as you always, always have. So that's this thing is called integration by substitution. Integration by substitution. We did not do any formal substitution yet. We will in the future videos. But let's, using this, let's try to answer the first question I asked you. What's the integral of, was it, cosine of 2x? Cosine, cosine of 2x. Cosine of 2x dx. Well, our u is 2x, so we have to multiply by u prime, and u prime is what? 2. So we have to multiply by 2, but you cannot just multiply by 2. You have to multiply by 2 and divide by 2 in order to have the same function. When you multiply by 2 and divide by 2, that's the same thing as multiplying by 1, which is not doing anything, which is good. You don't want to change the function. And what does this come out to be? You have 1 half, you have 1 half, and this u prime you can think of as going away, and you're integrating cosine of something, which comes out to be sine of something, and you have plus c. And let's differentiate this just for the sake of it. You have 1 half, you have 1 half, sine of 2x comes out to be cosine of 2x times 2, and 2 and this 2 cancel out, and you have cosine of 2x when you differentiate, which is good. So this is how you integrate by substitution.